All right. It's Steven Laura time. Let's go. Now, you guys know why this has to be unforgettable, right? Because Laura, once again, is fighting for Steve. Fighting for his right to party. No, not to party. But to continue his education. Stephen Q. Urkel, mm -hmm. you are charged with, well, blowing the lab to smithereens. <laughs> The defense calls Stephen Q. Urkel. Oh. Mr. Urkel. Hey, yes, baby Hicks. <laughs> <laughs> Laura almost smiled. Look, yes, baby cakes. Yeah. His affection doesn't stop because they're in the courtroom, Lord. You know that. Will you please tell us what you were doing in the lab on the day in question? Mm. I was working on my project for the state science fair. Mm. And specifically, what is that? Oh, a revolutionary graffiti remover. I call it. Tag, be gone. Mr. Urkel, please tell the court in your own words exactly what happened. Wham. I like how she addressed him, Mr. Urkel. Laura, Laura's on her business sense right now. I'm loving it. It's professional, huh? Mr. I Urkel. I expected a batch of salt when our Cracker Jack janitor, Mr. Looney, entered the room. Well, we exchanged pleasantries and wrapped it out mine. Now, Cottonburg's bust. And a few moments later, I heard... Explosion. Explosion! Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Urkel. I don't know, swipe my pay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, did you see the difference in these two? You, thank you, Mr. Urkel. <laughs> no sweat, my pet. Yeah. Steve can't turn it off. He can't turn it off. It's called its final witness. Dexter Thornhill. Wow. For the past bad. three years, you've won second place in the annual science fair. Who took first place? Mm. Yucko. <laughs> Yucko. You don't like Steve Urkel, do you? No, I don't. See, this is where he's messing up. See, this, <laughs> this is where this dude messed up. Because see, now you don't want to tell Laura to her face the disdain that you have for Steve because she's going to take you down. She's going to take you down. In fact, mm -hmm. you hate him, don't you? That's mm. right. Enough to blow up the science lab yourself and frame him for it? Get him, Laura. Get him, Laura. That's insane. <laughs> is it? Here's what really occurred that tragic day. This is a black light. It detects phosphorescent paints or chemicals. Lights, please. Mm, mm, mm. Come oh, on. What's the relevance here? Simply this. The explosive chemicals in Steve's graffiti solvent are phosphorescent. Mm. When they come in contact with human skin. Look at skin, Steve. Even Steve is like, what? Girl, girl, you a bad man. Majama, look at him. Like with human skin, traces remain detectable for several days. Mr. Thornhill, show me your hands. I'm going to get you, sucker. She got him. I'm going to get you. Got you, boy. Got him. Yep. Light, please. Okay, okay, I did it. Uh. <laughs> I think you're doing last year's science fair. Me. I'm tired of studying until four in the morning. Well, Urkel does class instead of page and gets A's. Uh huh. How does he do it? <laughs> Who are you, Urkel? I need a hack. Now, look at how Laura broke this dude, man. She straight broke him. You saw the confidence he was walking in with. She straight broke him. And let's remember why she's doing this. For Steve. Uh-huh. Let's let, let we can't let that be lost, okay? That this dramatic development. I ask that all charges against Steve be dropped. Case dismissed. Hi Mom, hi Dad. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Now, come on, man. We know why this is unforgettable. Oh my gosh, look at this. Come on now. Come on now. Oh no. Oh gosh. Kids. Carl. Kids. <laughs> At least one or two of them would have some resemblance of Laura, don't you think? You can't waste our girl's jeans. She's too pretty. <laughs> oh. And I'm the happiest woman in the world. Right. You are? But that's right. That's right. I'm married. The smartest. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sweetest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Talk to that talk, Laura. Sexiest. Talk to that talk, Laura. Man in the whole world. Mm -hmm. How did this happen? I remember it like Carl, a... get a grip. 
Gee whiz. Oh, my gosh. You should be happy that your daughter is happy and flourishing. Gee whiz. Yesterday, you bribed me into going bowling with Steve, and at first I was miserable. But then, when Steve got up to bowl, mm -hmm. I noticed his booty. <laughs> <laughs> Is it getting a little hot in the room for you? A little, little hot, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> By the end of the game, this incredibly warm feeling came over me. I like my hot cocoa when I like. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but I fell for Steve. Mm -hmm. The next day, we got engaged, and the day after that, we got married. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I love this story. <laughs> uh huh, yeah. Oh, I love you, Lauren. I love you more. Mm -hmm. I love you a hundred times more. I love you a hundred times more. Oh, I love you infinity. I love you infinity plus kisses. I love that she said, I love you infinity plus kisses. We know, boy, that comes in fruition, baby. Huh? Infinity plus kisses and oh, oh, oh. Okay. You love each other. Now knock it off. I'm glad that, that you two fell in love and had four terrific kids. Well, we didn't plan on having that many, but it mm. seems like all Steve has to do is kiss me and I'm pregnant. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I love, too. I love that they brought it here, you know, to, to, to emphasize the... The chemistry kisses, because they, because they, you know what I'm saying, because they're powerful. They're not this powerful, but we know that they're powerful, yeah. The chemistry kisses. See? That's, that's impossible. Oh, gosh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, Daddy. There's nothing like a poker on a squeeze box. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's been converted. We already know that she got to get into the poker dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what's funny about the Steve and Laura character is whether Laura was with Steve or Stefan, they, they still look really good together. Steve, but Steve and Laura look really good together here. They just they look sophisticated. <laughs> These things are just so unforgettable, you know, because it's like the possibly not unless that we're going to faith talk until they come back. It's the only time that we do get a glimpse of them, you know, at being a married uh, couple. That's why isn't it interesting that we actually didn't get a wedding or anything, but then they put little things in throughout the Throughout the years, you know, maybe they felt like that was enough. No, it's not. Okay, we need them married. We want to see get. We want to see Stephen Lord to, today. Okay, uh, you know what I'm saying. We gonna fake talk that, you know. But I, I, um, I just love this, and that's why I thought it was it, it was um, unforgettable because I think it's so in line uh, with what Stephen Lord would really be, you know, as far as them. Um, you know, being married. And what, what I thought was really cool is we looked at the first episode when Laura was fighting for, you know, fighting for Steve's honor and everything else, right? Fighting for his future. Or where we saw Laura, once again, you coming for Steve, you're going to catch this heat, you know? And Laura is fighting for Steve's honor, his innocence, his future, right? As we know that his future ends up being her, right? And so that's why I think that was so un un unforgettable, the ties into this right here. And you know, uh, what have I been saying over and over that Lord is Steve's double portion, that Lord is Steve's double blessing because of the lack of support and everything, every love, everything, you know what I'm saying, from his parents, right? So they're walking in her family's house saying, hi, mom, hi, dad. And so when you look at it, you're like, look what Steve has gained, just not even with Laura, Look what he has gained, right? He has, uh, he, you know, her family. Now he has his own family. He got four kids of his own. He has his beautiful wife. And that's why, and as Exodus 20 and 14, this just sums this up just so beautifully as the word always does, you know, but it says an excellent wife who can find. She is more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her and he will have no lack of gain. That is... Look, that, that, now look, we talking about Stephen Lowe, but that's, uh, that's to y'all men. Make sure you find the right woman because she will be an asset to you. She will be a life 
changer. She will bring favor into your life. You the, the Bible says, it just said it right there, that you would lack any gain, you know? And so I, I just think that that sums up Stephen Laura, you know, even, even before they really even got married, um, as of course we did not see, but we're, we, we know that that happened, but even as friendship, Laura still was that to him, you know, like he, Steve did not go without as long as Laura was around, you know? So it's just, and that's why we had to look at these moments, right? Because they're unforgettable. And these are just unforgettable, beautiful, beautiful moments. And, but love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.